What's up everyone, this is Scratch and I've got a new video here for you. We're going to take a look at the store. This one is coming by request from a good friend of mine, Ken Zibbit. Um, great Xbox gamer and big time fan of Xbox. And he wanted to know more about this. And so I've said it before in my end of my videos. If you want to see something, let me know and I'll make a video about it. And this is the result of that. So we're going to take a look at the store. Um, there's one thing to keep in mind though is that this isn't this isn't done this is still in preview so there could be more things added um, you know that'll that'll be coming but this is essentially what's here now and then of course changes can be made based on our feedback as gamers or decisions within Microsoft depending on you know what pops up so with that out of the way let's just take a look at it so now we do have kind of a similar um, layout that we're familiar with especially familiar in the windows 10 store um, we have featured we can search memberships which is kind of cool where you can actually take a look right at you know xbox live gold it shows what's free um, you can learn more about that if you're interested in ea access which i recommend personally because i bought it about i don't know I think when it first came out, I subscribed to it for a year and I resubscribed to it when that year was up because I think it's pretty good value. I've, I did do a video on that. Um, but anyways, you know, that stuff is right there. If you want to learn more about those, this is where you can use a code um, or we can search. Let's check out the search really quick. Uh, we'll search for Sonic. And let's say I know about Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, and then there are my results. You see them start to populate. Um, but if I press the start button, as I like to call it, I know it's not, it's the menu button. Uh, but if I press that and I bring it up here, I, was, I have nine games in the search results, uh, four movies and TV shows. And then I could, if I wanted to, narrow them down to TV shows and then, you know, uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. I went too far. Uh, narrow it down to TV shows and then the different uh, genres you know if you were if you were searching for stuff you could you could go through and do that um, but let's jump up here to games and we'll take a look at what's in there so a couple of other things that are here also is you can see that uh, we have all these games like 1999 999 whatever and you get over to Lumo and it says that I own it because I own it um, if you look down uh, Battlefield Hardline down here is $26.99 with gold so it lets you know that it's a with gold uh, deal if you're if you're a gold member um, and then over here we have Grand Theft Auto 5 and then Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 if you want to play with me with new member Fridays on the Twitch uh, Xbox channel um, is $35 and you can see it's got the slash and the price or whatever to, to reflect that it's on sale so that's kind of cool uh, let's just jump in here to Overwatch, which is something I'll be getting here very, very shortly. Um, but then you have, you know, all of the the game information. You can go to the Game Hub, tells you what it's available on currently. Um, we have game clips, broadcasts, and then down here we have additional information, which is probably going to be populated with. Um, right now, it just has published by an approximate size, but I assume that that's going to have the other stuff that you find on. Um, the Xbox on the Xbox.com webpage where you can look at like the genre the uh, You know not the price because that's up at top But like the genre and the release date and that sort of stuff um, down here We can check out uh, add-ons for the game, which is pretty cool We can we have the option on all these options in order to show all and expand that to everything um, And then also what other people like who liked this game shout out to Roby one for being in my video um, but it shows, you know, what other people like that are similar to this game. So Smite, Division, you know, they all kind of make sense too if you've played any of those games. The other cool thing that's that I like is down here, and we have written reviews now. Um, so this person thinks it's super addicting. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, love the game, never gets boring as time goes on playing it. And so they have all these different reviews. Now, one review that stands out to me is this one, other than the Bethesda thing, but it says in here that Overwatch reminds them of a new, tr of a new Team Fortress that we've been waiting for. And I love to play Team Fortress. So I can go down and I can say that that review is helpful. Now I know it's a little bit difficult to read. And of course, again, this is all subject to change, but I can go in here and say that this review is helpful. So one out of one, people uh, found that review helpful and that's me um, and then that'll eventually bubble those up to the top and you'll be able to search kind of like I think you do like on Amazon or 
or any of the other uh, rating type stuff in stores Microsoft will have the Xbox one store kind of um, up to up to speed with with what what we as a consumer are used to so that's pretty much it um, there are going to be more changes and as they come along I will be sure to make some videos and point them out if you have any questions but that's pretty much the state of the store right now and this uh, update was done on the 23rd I think it was um, so that's where we're at with it. So if you have any more questions or you want to see some more stuff or anything like that, feel free to reach out. And just like Ken Zibit did, as you can see, it works. I do pay attention to that stuff. And um, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.